Hello! It is the 9th of November of 2022 and another bit of an update for you in Final Fantasy XIII as you can see this giant Adam Mantos here just nicely strolling by. Um, basically, I am on Eden and you pass through here in Chapter 12 and then after this point you can come back here. But uh, if you want to do this particular farming method against the Adam Mantos, one thing you must, must make sure of is that when you uh, so I better not head down there. But down the end of this platform, you'll see there's a glass floor there. And at the end, there's two, there's two uh, item beacons, whatever they are. Uh, don't open them. If you open up one of them, the Adamantos will walk through onto this glass, this glass floor, and it will, it will uh, slam down, and you will lose this particular Adamantos forever. And it's really annoying. This is actually the first time I've actually come through and not done that. And the advantage to that, or one main advantage to it, is that it's right next to the safe point. So if you want to farm it, you can reload and just come strip up here to fight it. Now, uh, let's talk about the situation that I'm in here. Because I am at the point where uh, grinding for CP is something that I'm not particularly interested in doing. Because CP isn't going to be too much for me now. If you have a look at uh, Saz, for example. All the primary roles are maxed out, and as for the secondary roles, he's got a couple on level two. He's got Sentinel here on level one. I just spend some points, see what I mean here. And as you can see, yeah, I'm not really getting much in the way of stats here. So uh, CP is something that you're gonna just from this point on. CP is gonna it's just gonna be something that you're gonna get, and you'll just you'll just utilize it when you can for whenever you get it but it's not really that important i still do have the growth equipped to get double the amount of it because i do have to actually max out at some point but uh, regardless that's not my main purpose for grinding here my main purpose for grinding here is for trapezohedrons and platinum ingots and the way that you get those is by defeating these guys now you need both of them uh, you need six trapezohedrons, and it has a drop rate of one percent, and I believe it's times five for a five-star rating, which you should always be getting anyway. So it's a five percent drop for a trapezohedron, and a twenty-five percent drop for a platinum ingot. Uh, now I do have equipped collector's catalog, uh, which is that the right one? Yeah, increase the odds of obtaining items after battle. So that will increase the chance of the ingot. I think there's another one which will increase the chance of the trapezohedron. But the thing with the trapezohedron is that you only need six of them total. So, uh, but whereas the, the ingots, you're going to need tons of them. So, uh, focus more on the ingots. Uh, also, you might have noticed that he has total eclipses here. His ultimate weapon. If you have a look at the top right there, his ATV level. Everyone else has five, and he has six. The reason for that is that, well, he's got his ultimate weapon. Uh, because every character has with two ATB levels, and there's four different events that increase each ATB level by one. There's becoming a Lassie, getting their summon, or their Eidolon, rather. Uh, there's one on the Crystarian, and then there's the one for having their ultimate weapon equipped. And the way that you get their, equip their ultimate weapon is by leveling up any of their weapons uh, and transforming it twice. Um, the first level actually, hold on, let's go to here. So I've got upgrade, uh, you can see it's, it's a very awkward system, I'm not a fan of it, but the idea is you level up a piece of equipment so high uh, using using components. Some will give you experience multipliers and some give you experience at different rates and all that. And once you get to its max level you can use a catalyst, I believe it's called. Um, so like these are the catalysts I think. I don't even know if that's the name for them. I think it is actually I think yeah they're catalysts. And each catalyst will upgrade one type of weapon or equipment into another type of equipment and all of the 
level 2 or second stage weapons transform into the third stage weapon, which is the ultimate ones, through a trapezohedron, which is why you need six of them. And so far I have had one, which is why Saz has got his ultimate weapon. Now, uh, the reason you need ingots is because you can sell them for a lot of money and you need a lot of money to be able to max out all, all of your equipment which uh, there's an achievement for it so uh, you, no, you don't need to max it out you just need to have owned all of them at some point or other which in a lot of cases does mean leveling them up and upgrading them to higher higher forms but as it stands um, I am sort of just farming uh, I, I'm at the point where I am farming for the money and for the trapezohedrons. So, uh, the problem with these big turtle guys with walking around in circles there is that they are powerful. They are very powerful. Um, and there's a few ways to kill them, but the main thing is, uh, or one particular method is the one I'm going to show you here, the one that I've been doing. But the main thing you need is you need at least three TP. So once you've killed it, you need to then go back out and farm and kill a bunch of enemies to restock your TP. If it doesn't drop any items, if it doesn't drop an ingot and it doesn't drop a trapezohedron, then just quit and reload. The the 80,000 CP from if you get it with the growth egg, it's not worth going out and having to farm all that TP back again. Just restart and try again. Now, eh. Uh, so you might have noticed I'm using the same team that I've been using for most of the time. Uh, I've got Saz, Fang and Hope, except for Saz is the leader this time and I don't really use him as the leader, but you need him as the leader because uh, when you summon, um, you need him to, and you need to control him so that you can use Blitz. Now, go to abilities. Uh, Blitz as you can see here. Uh, what that does is it deals physical damage to targets in range. Now what that does for most characters, so say like Fang or like Lightning, and actually I don't even know, I'm not even sure about Snow or even if Hope, or Hope does get Blitz. Does Vanille get Blitz? Well she hasn't got it yet, maybe she will, I don't know. But uh, what's different with Saz is that when he uses Blitz, because everyone else, uh, well, as far as I know, everyone else, their Blitz attack is just like, it's like a big sweep. So, with Fang, she sweeps around her, her lance, and like Lightning's got a sword, she'll swing around her sword to cover like a wide range, but Saz here has guns. So, when he uses Blitz, he does like lots of, lots of shots, which is very good against one particular enemy. Um, so let's talk about the paradigms. So the I will go into the fight and I will show the fight. Um, but uh, this is a point where we are going to start making a bit of use about the secondary walls. Um, so I'm going to start off now. Uh, originally, I had three cent uh, three synergists as the first paradigm. That I had set up, but I decided against that because uh, we're up with the abilities here. Now, uh, synergist. Now, Saz and Hope are both primary synergists. So we've got uh, haste, bravery, and faith, which are the main ones I'm going to need for Hope. Uh, what's he got that I'm going to be using? Well, he uses haste automatically. I think he will do like protect and shell and all that. But the thing with Fang as a synergist uh, is she's got these Ra effects. So, for example, Bravera and Faithra, they're basically like Bravery and Faith, apart from they last a shorter amount of time and they're more powerful. So, overall, they're not as good. They're very useful, very good in certain situations against certain types of bosses, like Versing Gatrix, for example. But here, here it's not so good because you want them to last for quite a while and if she uses these then it's not really 
it's going to going to help very much. But also, uh, as a sentinel, she will protect against the the first attack, the big ground pound attack that it does. It will it'll give you it'll increase your defenses just enough that you can um, get the uh, you can get enough of your buffs in that you want. And then we'll summon with Saz and just switch to infiltration to get a few status effects on. And then when the rest of them come back, smart bomb to get some more status effects uh, through Fang and get the Ravager to the Ravagers to build up the the stagger. And eventually we're gonna to go to Cerberus to just all out attack and that's when Saz is gonna be using his Blitz attack. So let's actually go ahead and show it and hopefully I will get a platinum ingot or a trapezohedron and if I don't then I'm going to restart and if I do then I'm going to save it and then spend some time farming the enemies around for TP and then come back and do it all again. Okay so uh, actually should I have a look at the equipment? I don't think there's much I need to show. I mean I've got some strength boosts on Sars here. Because uh, it really does help to get his strength up. I mean Fang's just naturally strong as it is. Uh, but see the surveillance catalogue increases the chances of obtaining shrouds after battle. I don't know if that runs counter to the the other catalogue, the collector's catalogue. I don't know if they work against each other. Like this collector's catalogue and the other one sort of does. I don't know. Uh, and I, I do have the growth egg on hope, just, just for the sake of the double CP. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Now, you, you can mess this up, but where I am at now, I tend not to. Okay, game, you're gonna load? Right. So. First order of business is just get hair on Saz there, and then I'm going to drill the infair. Ah. Didn't get bravery on, on Saz because of the... Um, Thank you. Just the stomp interrupted his attack. Right. Uh, okay. I appreciate it. Be able to survive. Both of those stops because Fang's tanking the attacks there. Right, let's get an mission. And switch to the ship to get some type of action going on. And there's only one target we can actually get what we can get. I think we've got four debuffs. Uh, I think we can get slow, but that's like right at the end of his uh, story. So it really big is that we know that for a long time. Yeah, we get four. I don't have four. Oh, that's that's bad. And let's just start the fight. And do not use Gestalt. Gestalt mode because that will just reset the stack. And you don't want that. Yes, the reason for that both to be a saboteur is that his saboteur ability is not going to fight. They're all. Area of effect. This is gonna stay. This is too much of a TV to be able to, to use them. So right, so now these guys are back out. So let's get this. Shops. 
cell. Components. Where is it? Platinum ink. There. Take 150,000. a bunch of these guys down here to get my TP back up to back up to three and you know what seeing as I'm here uh, so with the second but I'm I mean I'd rather like get more points but you know just to show you um ah see I'm trying to sort of even it out a bit so oh bang on taste so I'm actually not really going to be using to just for a while anyway. Yeah, so I'm just spending it on whatever is like level one. Trying to buff it even and out. But like I said, the CP at this point isn't doing too much for you. So I would advise doing the opposite of what I'm doing here, that is just to save your CP, wait till you get like 500,000 or something and then just go wild and just spend it. See, Vanille only needs Sentinel to level 2 in the second he rolls. Uh, because I, I don't really know if there's much... Uh, because I'm going to be here for a while, I don't think I really need to focus on anything in particular. So, it's just a case of... How about it? But yeah, I mean, CP, at this point, like I've said, CP, it's not doing much for me. But it's still, you know, it's still nice to get. Um, anyway, so... I, I'm going to end it here, so thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.